Good morning. This morning I'm gonna um, go and have a chance at taking the LinkedIn PHP assessment test. I've been working with PHP for a while so I thought uh, why haven't I got it on my profile so I'm gonna I've gone into my LinkedIn gone into my profile okay and then yeah then I click on here and I scroll down till I find LinkedIn assessments okay here we go and I'm gonna take take skill quiz all right and there's PHP so I haven't taken this yet so I'm gonna give it a bash and see how well I do all right what causes the headers already sent error when using the header function um, I believe this is all of these answers extra blank lines calling echo or print um, and the byte order mark at the beginning of the file yep definitely feels like all of these answers okay what does this script do email filter input um, input post email filter validate email if e email is false then let the user know so basically this is part of a filter and it says that it makes sure that the um, information is uh, coming through so it, I'm going to choose it makes sure the email address is good and functioning address um, okay. in the following script which line or lines will cause an error so if I have a look here this is the start of a PHP then you've got your variable count Here's another variable xval another variable yval then another variable sum string another variable sum string so it's just changing the sum string okay this doesn't work because you can see here there's no underscore over here and then this one also doesn't work because it starts with the number three so the line number is seven and eight line seven and eight will cause an error line seven has white space in it yep yeah. And it should be underscore and line 8 cannot start with a number because it is a variable okay a PDO object dollar DB has been set up to use for database operations including user authentication all user related properties are set the script line public function underscore underscore constructs dollar db shows a constructor that initializes all user related properties to something if no user has logged in. These parameters will be properly set by the login functions when a user logs in. So they should be set to zero or set to null. Okay, I'm going to choose zero. All right. the something something operator is useful for sorting operations it compares two values and returns an integer less than equal to or greater than zero depending on whether the value on the something is less than equal to or greater than the other um, so I'm gonna go ahead uh, if I have a look here space shift left greater than right equal equality right comparison left so I'm gonna go with comparison left okay what is the key difference between get and post get is intended for changing the server state and carries more data than post Get is used with the HTTP protocol, post is used with HTTPS. Get displays the submitted data as part of the URL. During post, this information is not shown as it's encoded with the request body. Get is more secure than post and should be used for sensitive information. I'm going to go with this one.
What is missing from this code, which is supposed to create a test cookie? So you've got a string name, test cookie. You've got a string value, this is a test cookie. You've got expiry info, time. And you've got a string domain, okay? So the only thing that I can see is a call to set cookie is missing. Where is PHP code executed on a web server? What is the job of the controller as a component of the MVC? Controller is a mechanism that allows you to create reusable code in languages such as PHP where multiple inheritance is not supported. The controller handles data passed to it by the view and also passes data to the view. It interprets data sent by the view and disperses that data to the appropriate models awaiting results to pass back to the view. The controller handles specific tasks related to a specific area of functionality, handles business logic related to the results and communicates directly with the database. The controller presents content through the user interface after communicating directly with the database. I'm going to go with this one, handles data passed to it by the view, because it also passes data back. Why is it not recommended to make all of the class variables public? The attribute can be accessed only by the class that defines the member. Doing so makes your code tightly coupled. You can then access the attribute only within the class itself and by inheriting and parent classes. You will have no control over which value the attribute can take. Any external code will be able to change it without any constraint. Sure, these two seem to be quite close. Okay, at the end of it I'm going to go with you will have no control. Okay. How would you get the number of rows returned by a select query, assuming that the result is stored in dollar $result using MySQL improved object-oriented styles? Hmm, dollar $result is num rows, dollar $result num rows, dollar $result num rows. Okay, num rows. <laughs> I'm going to choose this one. Which code will return the IP address of the client? The dollar session remote address, the HTTP server virus remote IP, the get env remote address, dollar server HTTPX forwarded for. I'm going to choose this option over here. You want to use wildcard characters um, when searching for records in a MySQL MariaDB database using a PDO prepared statement. Which code should you use? Bind params or the bind values? Okay. Bind params. Get name. Name. I'm going to go with the bind value and yeah, I'm going to go with this one. Which two functions can sanitize text and validate text? Okay. Um, okay, this one, filter var and filter input. Uh, the following XML document is in books XML. Which code will output historical? Okay. If I have a look, the only one I can see is this load file. Simple load file. So let's go and see what our results are. Great. You earned a badge. You're in the top 30%.
Excellent. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it has been helpful and all the best with your LinkedIn assessments. Thanks. Goodbye.